There we go. And that. So as we said, this is uh, this is something we announced uh, this week. Um, it's a prequel to the uh, new order that we launched last last year. Oh, the pipe in the head! I love it already. <laughs> We've got a piper down. So this uh, section, as Matt said, escape in a prison is going to be a little bit more stealth gameplay. Um, yesterday, when we were on with you guys, um, showed quite a bit of the action. So we wanted to show you a little bit uh, of the diversity. This is a game you can kind of play as you see fit. So if Matt wanted to go in guns blazing here, he could. But beautiful. Being stealthy draws less attention, less likely to bring reinforcements in. I love seeing that you can peek out from around corners like that. Yeah. We'll see how long I stick with the stealth thing once once things go, yeah, go so south. Uh, that's, that's my thing. It's like In I, the face. I love being stealthy, but at, at one point, you just got to go Rambo. Uh, but this is a standalone uh, uh, DLC sequel thing that we uh, put together. Rather than having uh, it require the original game, we wanted to create something yep. that whether you, <laughs> whether you bought the game last year or not, Very cool. uh, for 20 bucks, PC, Xbox One, PS4, you can jump in um, and uh, and uh, have a lot of fun playing wolf shooting Nazis. That is retreat. <laughs> freaking out. Yeah, and there goes the stealth aspects. It's already gone. Yeah, that, that's what it went to hell in a handbasket quick, quickly. T yeah. See, and BJ Blaskowitz, is he? You know, he's got to be blasting. <laughs> cool. um, I love and I love the idea that it is a standalone uh, DLC. It doesn't require uh, the new order. Um, now, in terms of the story, oh my God, you can do that. You got this. You can do it, Coach. There you go. No. <laughs> Maxed out. There we go. Oh yeah. Shoot those Nazis dead. Okay, beautiful. All right, regroup. So as far as the story, um, obviously the New Order takes place uh, largely in the 1960s. You start the game kind of in the past, but you end up playing uh, most of the game is about what happens after the Nazis win the war. Um, uh, the Old Blood takes place while the war is still going on. It is a prequel to the New Order, and it sort of leads up to the moments right when the New Order starts. So it's about finding out where Death's Head's compound is, um, assaulting Castle Wolfenstein to try and get that information, and as, as Matt said, trying to get the hell out. Um, <laughs> it's actually broken up into two uh, chapters that work together. Um, each has its kind of own little uh, story arc and, and known uh, bad guy that you're, you're dealing with, and, and we're again here in the, in the first part. Very cool. Dealing with uh, Rudy Yeager and uh, the and Den of Wolves. The Den of Wolves in, uh, in the Castle Wolfenstein. Badass. And, and if you're familiar with Wolfenstein, uh, any of the early Wolfenstein games, there's lots of little nods. Obviously, um, locations you recognize from early games. It's so beautiful, which I did. I, I Wolfenstein, one of my favorite memories uh, growing up, uh, in the, just really quick in my old tech ed class, like, it was a reward that you could go into the computer uh, lab and, and play Wolfenstein if you were done with your, <laughs> nice. uh, your, your project. So my projects were always rushed and crappy because it was like, I, I got to get on that Wolfenstein. <laughs> Do whatever you had to to check that box exactly. and get back to playing, right? Yeah. yeah. Very cool. I, lo I love that, uh, like you said, uh, uh, contains lots of nods to the, uh, the original. Right, and, and uh, it, it obviously um, offers a variety of different types of uh, enemies, tech, weapons, because again, this is sort of in the early days of the Nazis um, taking advantage of the technology that they've found and are using. So when you see super soldiers, it's the earlier versions than the ones you see uh, during the New Order. Um, there's Panzerhunds, but they're, they're you know, actual armored dogs as opposed to big robot dogs that oh, would have wow. developed later in the 1960s. So it's a little bit more old school, some different weapons. Very cool. I love, uh, you know, like you said, like how you can see the uh, the transition there. Yep. Uh, the pipe is a new thing. You saw Matt uh, take out a guy early on with the pipe. It's not just a melee weapon, but it's also useful for um, traversal. There's a variety of different places throughout the, the game and throughout the levels where you'll find the opportunity to use the pipe to, to access areas uh, you wouldn't otherwise be able to access. So it's a it sort of serves a dual role and uh, opens up the gameplay a little bit more as a result. Very cool. So seeing, like, good so job, good job not dying so far, man. Pr pretty good, uh, no stealth yeah. gameplay. I was gonna say, like, now is, are you like is, at some point are you gonna be able to just kind of like creep into the shadows and and let things kind of? Well, so th right now there is still one uh, officer out. You can uh, see the broadcasting alarm up in the top right, so we uh, sort of yeah. let you know where the commanders are that you have to sort of shut down for them to stop calling in reinforcements. Okay. So Matt's biggest problem right now is he's got one guy. Because I haven't found that guy. But and here he is. There he is. In the uh, face. In out. the leg. There you go. You're done. Yeah. Thank you. Feel nothing. They're Nazis. It's fine. It's totally fine. And it is a game that allows you to do uh, sort of stealth or combat as you see fit, but there's obviously times where combat is going to be your only option. It's not a game you can stealth all the way through. Absolutely. Start to finish, but it does play out pretty differently depending on 
those moments that you choose to use uh, stealth and sneak around guys, find se secret passages to, to get to areas you wouldn't otherwise be able to get to. Sure. And then there's times for the comp pistol, which is a little pistol-like rocket launcher that just, <laughs> wow, toast. Your Love toast that. Too. This is one of the oh, <laughs> vaporized him, wow. The blood vapor, <laughs> wow. This is my redemption. I'm loving it. <laughs> See, this, now this is my style of game, like uh, the gameplay. Like in this game, uh, I admire that. Like you, you can go in, like uh, you know, uh, different, it, it lacks ways. subtlety. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, like you said, like you could go in, uh, you know, creep around and get some stealth kills in there. But you're probably these guns are just too good to not just you know, go in blazing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at this a grenade. I mean, Rambo style. Beautiful. Uh, now, when, when can we expect to play uh, the Old Blood? Uh, it's coming out uh, May 5th, so it's uh, right around the corner. Um, cool. And uh, obviously happy uh, to be showing the gameplay for the first time uh, here on Twitch yesterday and today, and, and probably do a few more of these on our own Twitch stream uh, between now and launch. But uh, yeah, we, uh, we wanted to do something where we could get it out a little quicker to the most folks possible. Uh, and, uh, do it in a way where you didn't have to play the previous game. Although, as you said, uh, Wolfstein, the, the New Order, really thrilled how many people played it, how much they liked it. Uh, yeah. Obviously, uh, it, was a, it was a nice reboot for the franchise where Wolfenstein, it, you know, had gotten a little um, gotten a little long in the tooth, and the Machine Games guys, all credit to them, taking uh, something that they loved and that is, you know, kind of beloved and iconic in the industry and, and rebooting it, bringing a lot of character and story. And, Absolutely. Know. I mean, when you want to talk about first-person shooters, I mean, Wolfenstein, I believe, basically wrote the book. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Wolf Pattern yeah. of the the whole th the whole genre. And uh, it is. It's great to see that uh, you know Wolfenstein games still being made. And, with like such awesome, like such great emphasis on like the action. Yeah. Hello to our uh, watchers in Sweden at Machine Games. Hope mm. you're enjoying. Now, when you said that you were going to be streaming some uh, some gameplay, uh, for, like now, uh, you know, before the uh, the release in May. Yeah. Was that uh, on a particular Twitch channel? You want to give a? Yeah, that's uh, Twitch.tv Bethesda. Um, we're actually on uh, on uh, Monday afternoon. We're uh, streaming the first look at the Evil Within DLC, the assignment as well. Very cool. Which comes out Tuesday, right? So uh, sweet. We usually uh, we we try and stream uh, once every week, once every other week, and uh, give folks a chance to see either old stuff that we do uh, have done. Matt did a playthrough of some of the Dark Brotherhood stuff in Skyrim the other week. Oh well. Um, uh, or news, yeah, stuff. like uh, Wolf and Evil Within DLC. I just love it. I mean. I've been broadcasting on Twitch for quite a while, and uh, it's so crazy now seeing uh, you know companies like Bethesda and just uh, you know guys making use of the uh, the platform just to. And uh, this action. is another situation where I can start off and try to be stealthy, Matt. And we, <laughs> we saw how it went last time, so uh, about, about 15 seconds. Yeah. Worth of stealth. This <laughs> might this might be five seconds. Okay. Yo, know, in the rafters. I so love it. Up in the rafters. I'm I'm here in the kitchen. Cool, like Got some new baddies down there with their uh, 1946 awesome shotgun. Beautiful. Look at that These fireplace. Guys. It's beautiful. It is. The it game is. is. It's a beautiful uh, game. So I want to get over to that right there to get through. Um, which By the way, standing in one place on the thing does not count as being stealthy for longer <laughs> yeah. than 15 seconds. You actually have to move somewhere. This right. is all oh, man. So, so, so it all comes down to this. Can I make the jump? Because if I don't, I'm screwed. Oh, boy. Screwed. Stealth is... Oh, oh look at that. 20 seconds. Uh, uh, that was it. That was, that was it. it. There you go. That's right. fine. Get out of there. It was inevitable. Right. One jump. We're going to... Again. We're just going to... There's a lot of guys in here, and we don't want to oh, deal with them. So. Oh, Take a flag from behind. Right now, there's a bunch of guys in Sweden at Machine Games all shaking their heads in, in embarrassment <laughs> yeah. and shame. Like, oh, they're Matt. Already, they're already typing up the email to Matt. I can't believe you did this. And yeah. Yeah. Oh, of course. I mean, you know, the main character's name isn't BJ Sneakowitz. You know? <laughs> yeah. Blaskowitz. Okay. There you go. You got more Nazis to go after. Pipe. I love the pipe. It's like a game of Clue in here. Uh, and uh, much like in the, the New Order, um, one of the fun things is uh, there's lots of little secrets uh, that you'll find all throughout the level, collectible items as you're going through that we kind of encourage exploration not only as a way to get through the level, um, avoid combat situations. Oh, oh no. Oh, right. no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry, puppy. No. No, no animals were harmed in the making of this game. Yes. Um, it's fantasy. -like. But there's lots of collectibles that you'll see um, oh, uh, spread uh, around oh, the game. Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Now that guy, I don't feel anything at all for that guy. Yeah. Nazis, it's, it's perfect. The least sympathetic bad guys that probably in the history time. of exactly. video games. That's yeah. why it's just it's so fun shooting Nazis. Oh, throwing a knife. <laughs> but perhaps using the pipe will. There you go. Now, this. <laughs> if you ever want to see a good video, watch Eastern Michigan uh, Sludge Hammer. Mm. It is the funniest video of these guys trying to knock bricks down. And I like uh, what you're saying, uh, where you uh, really try and get more exploration in there, because, like you say, uh, like again, it's one of the things I think that Machine Games did such a good job on oh. in, in uh, revitalizing Wolfenstein, not just you know making BJ you know an actual character and getting to know him and and Anya um, as you play through the New Order and and sort of telling their stories as you go through, but also introducing that variety of gameplay, something that the guys at Machine Games are pretty well known for in previous games they made, like the Darkness uh, Chronicles of Riddick, where they try and mix different types of gameplay, um, something folks really seem to enjoy in the New Order, and you know they continue to try and uh, introduce those elements in uh, the whole but Although, again, admittedly, a lot of it is when you just get to have a big gun and you're blasting guys. Yes, out. that's what I'm talking about. There's no substitute. I can't tell you how happy it's making me. Oh, hello. Vaporize these enemies. Oh. Maxed out. Beautiful. The reload animations. Um, do you know about like how long uh, the the content? Uh, it's a good question. Um, we're always a little hesitant to to uh, to give out numbers because inevitably somebody um, yeah. does it faster than we say. Yeah. Maddie, you just played through the whole thing and took yeah. how long? Uh, about eight hours. Oh wow. Eight hours. Uh, so you know, six to eight has kind of been our ballpark. Yeah. Took Matt eight. Um, if you're playing on an easier mode and you're blowing right through, and you don't spend time to explore, find collectibles. It might get done faster than six, but uh, yeah, who does that? Really, who does that? But uh, shame it, on you. You know, for twenty bucks, it's a pretty hefty. Again, Matt, the knife not working. So much <laughs> in the yeah. Try the pipe. The there you oh, go. There it is. Yeah. There it is. Um, you know, for twenty bucks, it's a pretty hefty chunk. Um, Absolutely. Broke, broke it up into these two stories, um, and uh, there is uh, there is a kind of nice change of pace between the first one and the second one. Um, we uh, we do a little bit more with the occult aspects of Wolfenstein, which yeah. you saw earlier in some of the earlier Wolfenstein games. It wasn't really a part of the New Order, but because this is set in the past, um, we play with that a little bit. You see a hint of that in the teaser trailer right at the end with the fiery thing that drops out of the roof and then seems to be getting up and coming at you. Yeah. Um, looking forward to telling. Of course. Yeah. Wouldn't be a Twitch stream without Matt throwing a grenade at himself. Exactly. Um, so it's we like ticked that box as well. The <laughs> <grenade> out. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And I think, I mean, just with the question about, like, the, the length of the game overall, um, you know, I, I think it, it, it's not said enough that, like, you know, a lot of focus is always spent, uh, you know, thinking of like quantity, uh, but uh, it's really the quality of those hours. You know, to me, it's like I am perfectly happy playing a shorter game if my time spent playing it is like, you know, if I had a good time. Meaningful, yeah. Yeah, that, that's a big belief of ours as well. That, um, you know, and it's tough when you, when as a publisher we make games like Skyrim where the number of hours is, you know, insane. It's exactly. People still playing it. People still playing more when in Oblivion. So yeah. it's going to kind of be hard to make anything that compares oh. to that. <laughs> Sorry about your legs. Sorry, I just, uh, yeah, blew the leg up and then the body just went bouncing down the stairs. Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. Oh, love those effects. The, uh, yeah, this is, this, I, I kind of feel like this is like a Tarantino scene ready to happen. Yeah. The book's getting shredded. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, we got oh. the neck. Knife in the neck, yes. I gotta say, love it. Oh, wow, leg gone, goodbye. Yeah, you get into some serious stuff here. And I do, I love the the environments, like you said, like the, uh, the more like a cult aspect of it. Uh, very, like, yeah, I mean, if you're a fan at all of Wolf, get the back, stomp back around in uh, Castle Wolfenstein again is a pretty, uh, it's a pretty great nostalgic opportunity. And if yeah. you have it, um, we're, we're trying to demonstrate that maybe you should want to. Like, get in on this. Yeah. yeah exactly. Alarms. Matt's still got two commanders who were setting off alarms that he's going to have to deal with at some point. I just want to say, so far, you have been doing amazing, yes. Like, usually do, uh, during these segments, you know, uh, uh, the people promoting the game will, you know, oh, God. Oh, okay, that's good. I thought I jinxed you for a second. It should be noted, by the way, that Matt and I basically had to run walk about a mile to get here roughly two minutes before this started. So oh, yeah. Oh, so he's out had, of breath. Yeah, it was like an endurance. It's like the, uh, you know, ski and then shoot a sniper rifle. Exactly. Like, you yeah. had to book it because traffic was so horrible. Uh, and, like uh, that. Yeah, ca a decathlon going. Catching his breath and then actually performing well in a shooter is a, is a tall order. Oh, slice! Performing well. Oh, my God. Or not. 
Yeah, I know. See, and then of course, now that I said it, it's like, here we go. I'm trying to give you some uh, some credit there, Matt, but I think you're used up all of your... Uh... I'm struggling, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> like, oh, that's all right. BJ's still kicking. Running around. Okay, here we go. We got two alarms going off. Wow, just taking them out. Oh, I love it. There you are. There's one. Oh. Still there. We oh, go. oh, slice. And there's the other one. Out. Oh, they both came to you. They were so sick of waiting for you to come find them. They just came found you. <laughs> they did. Tough crowd. All right. <laughs> and now we're back in stealth mode. If, yes. we, if we want to go that route. After he's run around loudly killing everybody, now he's back to being quiet again. And there's the use of that pipe, like I said. I love, yep. love the multi uh, use of it. So uh, that's that. Famous right. last words. So here I am. I'm, I'm at the docks. Got some guns. I got some Nazis. Dead Nazis. All right. So, um, like, are, is there anything immediately uh, that any fans of the New Order would notice, like, different? I know we saw in the initial trailer, obviously there's going to be some new weapons. There was maybe a tease to some additional customization. Um, what can you tell us about that going into this? Go ahead, Matt. As far as the new stuff, um, you know, it's uh, it's a sort of a combination of more of what you uh, like and enjoyed about Wolfenstein, um, but with some new mechanics and stuff that make the game interesting. One of the things you saw in the trailer um, was this uh, pipe mechanic that we added. So right. it's a combination of a, of a new melee weapon. Uh, you see Matt wielding it here. Um, that gives you some opportunities to take down some of the heavier um, super soldiers that you come up against. Um, yeah. but melee, climbing. Uh, but it also offers some traversal options. So yeah, you know how to use we it saw for, the climbing yeah, so, on, yeah. So it, it allows you to do some more sort of exploration of gameplay space and some different um, some different uh, traversal elements that we didn't have in them. Um, okay. And, and we have some, uh, some new guns as well. The uh, bolt action rifle, uh, which we'll see later. Uh, the comp pistol, which is really awesome. It's basically a pocket uh, rocket launcher. Uh, we also have a new shotgun in the game. Anytime you can have a pocket rocket launcher, that's that's a good thing. And obviously for folks who, like yourself, who played the old Wolfenstein games, um, it's one of those things where you don't have to have played any of those, just like you yeah. don't have to play yeah. the New Order, but there's lots of little nods and, and stuff that, you know, if you're a fan of the franchise, you've been playing this now for... Uh, 20 years or whatever, you're gonna you're gonna get a lot of sort of that nostalgic effect uh, out of this and getting a stomp around Castle Wolfenstein again. And I, I mean, I really know that gamers appreciate that whether they are being uh, you know brought in into the new era uh, and playing these games, or they came from the old school. You know, having those little throwbacks and Easter eggs always. Uh, so you can see here, Matt's taking out one of the two um, the two guys that can. Uh, can call in uh, extra reinforcements, and you can see it's uh, giving him a notification. Hidden Harry. <laughs> <laughs> I did mention don't oh, die, man. right? I did. Oh, don't throw grenades at yourself either. Um, so yeah, I tried to go stealthy first, and I thought I was going to make it, and uh, uh, not so things, much. Things didn't go well. So there we go. And just like the other game, you have the option to do that if you want to play a little stealthy. That's not me. That's certainly, not necessarily my style. Certainly, there's parts where combat is un unavoidable. Like right, you're not of just going to tiptoe your way quietly through the whole thing. Um, but there's there's definitely opportunities where you can decide to go more stealthy or more combat. And depending on how you do that, you know, if you just want to go in guns blazing, you can. But With a mini gun. You're also going to end up fighting a lot more guys. Right. They're going to they're going to call in a lot more reinforcements and make it a lot a lot uh, tougher to deal with. So looks like I got out of that okay. You did make it through. Glide. <laughs> the one guy in the area is like, nope, I have a single job. One of the things to uh, to point out is the the uh, while the the um, the new order starts kind of pre World War II when you're assaulting Death's Head Compound, the majority of the game takes place in the 1960s. Right. The old world ah. takes place in the past. So this is all sort of World War II era where the, the war is still going on with the Nazis and BJ is trying to help uh, keep the Nazis from winning the war. So a lot of what you see is going to be a little bit more retro technology. You're going to see kind of older versions of right. the Panzer and right. the original versions of some of the super soldier technology. It's a little more sort of archaic compared to to the to the uh, to the new order, but it's because this is when the Nazis were first starting to experiment with some of this technology, 
Um, so your weapons and tech are going to reflect that. And that's always it's always like interesting from uh, a design perspective, right? When you go when, when you go back and you kind of you're dealing with weapons and or technology that maybe haven't been introduced to the story yet, or like you mentioned, like the timeline doesn't fit. So, is that challenging or is it just is it kind of fun to go okay how are we going to tackle this one yeah i mean i think it offers a lot of um, flexibility that you you know designers are, are like anybody else like you don't want to just keep doing the same thing over and over again and so switching to a different era like this does give you some some options you can see here matt using the traversal aspect we talked about so he can kind of hold himself up um with one arm as he's climbed up with the pipes and then you know again we we're talking about stealth versus combat use a use a silence pistol to take out the guard um, but yeah, it does offer you know uh, designers and uh, and the team a chance to explore some new stuff and not kind of just do the same thing, same period over and over again. What would this have looked like for uh, for the Nazis back then? Get a little creative with it. Oh, oh go ahead. Go I was gonna say, plus you get to do cool new uh, kill animations. Yeah. <laughs> Pipe down. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, kind of a staple of the Wolfenstein uh, series is sort of like the secrets and the things that you find throughout the levels. I assume that we have plenty of those littered through. Certain, certainly plenty of that again, where you're going to, as you're moving through, uh, there's going to be uh, un unlockables that you can find and uh, you, you, get, uh, you get bonuses. <laughs> Grenade in the skull. Yes. Um, bonuses for uh, co co finding and collecting all that stuff. Um, but again, that's purely optional. It's kind of up to folks. If you want to just go through and run and gun and have a good time, um, it's going to get off you hours of that. And if uh, you want to go exploring and, and find all the other stuff, that's an option as well. What, Pete, what do you, which, which bucket do you fall into? Uh, I'm a run and gun guy. Okay, I, I am too. Um, there's times where I use stealth, mostly when I know it's an area where if, the, uh, if they start calling in uh, reinforcements, I'm really going to be in trouble. So I'll, I tend to be stealthy until I take out the two guys that they call in the reinforcements and when you take out the commanders then I then I know I can start running gun and not right. have to worry about dealing with a lot of extra enemies. So this is the new bolt action rifle and I've got the attachable oh, nice. scope right here. Pretty awesome. Uh, needs a little time to reload but uh, definitely powerful. Yeah. And obviously as Matt's showing here um, Cover is still uh, an important thing uh, in Wolfenstein, um, something that I think folks got used to the more they played through the New Order, that you right. standing out in the open, not always the best idea, so leaning from behind cover, above it, below it, from the side, um, definitely important, as, as Matt's showing here. And it is an option with any weapon that you're using, whether you've got a scope or not, that you can you can use that to your advantage and, and not take a ton of damage while you're taking guys out. Yeah, I mean, I, I noticed even the cover system's incorporated into, like, the new, uh, like, the, the climbing and yep. whatnot. When he got to the top, there was that prompt to also be able to lean. Yep. I guess we'll see it right here, right? Yeah, you're able to do that. Uh, I think there's a guy up here. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but, yeah, you can kind of go in any direction you want to uh, use cover, and there's nobody there. So that's okay. <laughs> hey, buddy. Surprise. So we were in the catacombs. That if you noticed, uh, we fell through. It looks like I'm getting my way back to where uh, where I wanted to be. And uh, just for those that are joining us, uh, we are seeing the first uh, shown gameplay here of uh, the Old Blood, Wolfenstein the Old Blood. And uh, this was announced on Wednesday. Um, and we're seeing this is the first time that we've ever uh, had a chance to check this out. So it's coming out in May, right? Yep, May 5th. Um, it is going to be for uh, PC, Xbox One, and PS4, so just, uh, just next gen. Um, allowed the team to, honestly, to, to focus a lot more on what they were doing um, and not have to support as many platforms, which uh, takes, a, takes away a lot of dev time. Is but five platforms hard to do? Uh, <laughs> it turns out it is. Really? No. Having done that twice last year with Wolf and uh, the Evil Within, we can tell you, uh, yeah. shipping on five platforms simultaneously is a ton of work. Yeah, I, I can only imagine. I can only imagine. Boom. That's a nice grenade. So you guys, uh, and I'd, I'd love to maybe talk a little bit more about all that grenade. Um, you know, the, the concept of, you know, a, like the standalone versus DLC models. Um, because also, as the designer, publishers, you know, these are decisions you have to make. And also, depending on 
uh, sort of the needs and demands of, of your audiences as well. So it, can you talk to us a little bit about, sure. about taking this route? Yeah, I, I mean, I think the, the idea came from a couple of routes. Um, number one was um, it, it allowed us to, um, to act um, sort of do it all in one thing that trying to split stuff up meant every time you do one of those DLCs each one of them is a uh, is a separate certification process it's a separate process right. of wrapping it up getting everything done and then you move on to the next one and you have to do it all over again you wrap all of that stuff together that's just that many fewer times that you're having to worry about how does all this play together and what what problems do you have um, we felt like we were able to do it in a pretty quick period of time sure um, that was certainly advantage if we were doing this and it wasn't coming out until November it probably would have been less likely but you know, the team worked pretty hard on putting something together that was both substantial, but that we could do in a, in a quick period of time. Um, and then obviously, you know, it's not something we've done a lot in the past with a digital only um, release or being able to put it out digitally first. And uh, that was appealing to us. Right. To have, you know, a low barrier of entry that's only $20 that you don't have to play the previous game. So if you were interested in Wolfenstein, but, you know, didn't get it for your for your console or your PC, that we had something that was a little lower cost that, you know, you come in and get a, you know, what we think is a pretty substantial amount of gameplay. Um, and it's 20 bucks. Um, and, uh, and you know, the reaction from the fans on Wednesday was pretty super positive. I mean, we yeah. obviously haven't done this kind of thing, but you've seen it done with other games. I think sure. uh, Far Cry saw a lot of success with uh, Blood Dragon. Right. Uh, folks like myself, I, I had a lot of fun with that. So um, uh, we felt like it was, a good, uh, it was a good fit for what we were trying to do, and um, we wanted to give it a try and see what, see what folks thought. So uh, we'll see how it goes. And I really like it. Maybe we can do more of this down the road. That's great. No, it's definitely uh, it's definitely a model that I'm a big fan of. Uh, you know, in this day and age, like you said, you know, also the the days of cloud and digital downloads, like it's it's getting more and more prominent in uh, in the gaming world. So uh, not necessarily having to have one piece of software in order to continue to enjoy the experience, I think, is also well. Just and part of it for us is it depends on what that content is. In the case sure. of, in case of Evil Within, you know, it, we are doing DLC. Um, we did just do DLC and it's uh, coming out next week and um, it made a lot more sense to have it fit as part of it and honestly it was a lot more difficult to have that be standalone in the case of Wolfenstein um, it's just different than a game like Skyrim for example where you're playing 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 and then you're adding content into your existing game this was going to be a standalone experience anyway so um, you know it, 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 uh, it doesn't fit every situation but it seemed to fit this one uh, you were asking before about collectibles Matt just, there found, they are. <laughs> Matt just found some of the deep sea diving the yeah, so we think it's a, it's a good way to introduce it uh, to a, both a new audience and, and, again, for folks like yourself who really loved Wolfenstein last year, and, and we sure appreciate everybody who, who bought it and played it and supported Machine Games and, and Bethesda, um, some, a way to give them something, uh, something new to play that uh, kind of fits what they like, but new and different. So uh, tell me a little bit about uh, about just being able to write and create a story around this character, right? Like, BJ is actually... He, he has a lot of clout in the whole in the gaming world just because of who he is as a character. So I imagine it's got to be a lot of fun to well, be able to you know, take one control of him. One of the interesting things when we when we did the original Wolfenstein: The New Order was it turns out even though this is a franchise that's been around for a while, um, that BJ didn't himself didn't have much of a, a personality. Right. He was just sort of a big neck guy who shot Nazis. Right. And I think one of the things that, that the, the New Order, um, and rightfully so, got recognized for was adding a lot of character and story Absolutely. and narrative and and giving him. Um, some context and 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 uh, you know making the choices that he was making meaningful and kind of understanding that yeah he kills Nazis but it's really this guy who just wants to get back to having a normal life and a family right. and and, uh, and the only way he can do it is to stop the guys who are trying to take over the world so uh, I think it was really fun and interesting for them to do that um, to be able to kind of put a new direction on where this franchise uh, is going to go going forward that you know the action and the fun that uh, you know we're showing here is is obviously a big part of it that it turns out that shooting strangling stabbing nazis is still pretty fun um yeah. but adding more character and story to that experience can be meaningful um and I, I think it was great to see the reaction people had to all of that to bj and anya and and the other folks right. that, that uh, we had in the new order and um you know looking forward to the team being able to explore that going forward because you know I think we, we did find at the end of the day that you know, Wolfenstein does have a place. It, it is relevant. I think the Machine Games guys did a great job in bringing it back to relevance. And you know we're looking forward to down the road to 
post this to seeing where those guys go, uh, where this franchise goes next. So I, I have to ask questions because I haven't seen anything about it yet, but at the end of the trailer uh, that opened up the segment, we have that part at the end where there's a shotgun and he picks up the hacksaw and he proceeds to make some modifications. Can you can you give us any inf any additional information on that or will we see anything here or um, tell me? Well, certainly if we put it in the trailer, there's got to be something going on there. We wouldn't, right. we wouldn't ever show you it, something like, that wasn't in the game. Ultimate tease. Um, I, I will tell you this. Um, we're not, we're not talking a whole lot about that okay. yet, but I will tell you that there's a bit more of kind of the occult um, in uh, the Old Blood than there was in uh, the New Order. Okay. A bit of a nod to some of the previous games, like Castle Wolfenstein, where there was some more kind of occultish stuff going up, and bodies falling through the ceiling and then being on fire and getting back right. up again. Um, something's obviously going on there, but uh, <laughs> what what's going on and uh, what BJ's going to have to deal with... Um, probably hold off talking about okay. it, but you won't have to wait long. Uh, no, no, not at all. be here before you know it. Um, not at all. Okay, uh, and that was a good secrets. tease. That was good. That, yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So uh, I think we're going to jump ahead to another part. Okay. Um, so let me just... Uh, That's fine. So if you just joined us the first time that you're ever seeing uh, footage here of uh, The Old Blood, Wolfenstein The Old Blood, it's coming out on May 5th, May 2015. 5th? Uh, be available digitally on uh, Xbox Live, PSN, uh, Steam, uh, all your standard uh, di uh, digital places. Um, and uh, yeah, we're really excited to get it out, folks. It is uh, Xbox One, PC, and PS4, so we're not doing it on 360 and PS3. That was a, a conscious decision to try and focus our uh, time and attention and resources on, uh, on getting it done more sure. quickly and getting it out to, you know, to as many folks as possible and kind of having it be the same game and not worrying about yeah. last gen and this gen. Um, yeah, we're super excited. We're, we're really close. What you're seeing here is obviously still uh, in development, but we are uh, pretty close to being done and, and wrapped and um, excited to get it to folks. Um, 20 bucks, not asking no, I mean, to I'll jump in, I mean, and, yeah. you need, and you don't need the previous game. For, uh, uh, for uh, you know, a, a self-contained gaming experience, that's, that's really fantastic. All right, so Matt, tell us a little bit more about, like, where we've jumped ahead to here. Okay, so... Uh, we got, well, I, I was basically, I got the door open to get into Castle Wolfenstein, um, and now we skipped all that. So now we've jumped ahead to, I need to get the hell out of Castle Wolfenstein. Um, so I am uh, making my escape plan right now. Pull this lever. Matt, you, I, I saw it too. You ended just by the skin of your teeth. Yeah, you, you, there was a couple times you were down to that two, three health. I, I noticed. It was a little rough, yeah. So, uh, so hopefully, uh, hopefully I can survive here. A little pro tip: if you see a hole in the door, it might mean there's somebody waiting for you. Just shoot them. So that's a cover mechanic. Usually, I got to run like hell right here. Did I get him with the throwing stuff? I just called the knife a throwing star. So, Matt, what are, what's your favorite weapon? In uh, Old you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really liking the, the bolt action rifle when I've got the uh, scope on. Um, shotguns are always fun, and two shotguns are even more fun. And the, and the comp pistol, being able to shoot grenade rocket things from your little yeah that's computer. what so that's what that was like the pocket rocket launcher yep. yeah, yeah. Saw that in the previous uh run because grenades can be pretty difficult to find we don't put a ton of them in the level so having a, not only um, grenades that you can throw but also having a, a weapon that shoots them as well is, is a pretty handy one too when you've got uh, you know groups of enemies and sure find quite a bit in this game you're dealing with uh, with groups of enemies oh All right, this is getting hairy. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Pull the lever. So Matt's making his way onto this uh, this cable car that's going to help him uh, uh, get out of Wolfenstein. Out. You saw snippets of that as yeah. well in the uh, right. trailer. And the guys did some really great stuff, both visually and from a gameplay standpoint. Yeah, I don't, I'm not dealing with him right now. Too much. Peace out, Cub Scout. <laughs> There you go. So scenic journey. Here we are. 
Well, I'm sure it'll be a very quiet ride. Yeah, from here, right? really, honestly, yeah. the rest of this level is like a, is a really pleasant hour and a half just to ride on a cable car <laughs> nothing actually happens. It's Have a cigar, just relax. <laughs> uh, the true Alp simulator here. It's like the version of Die Hard where the terrorist forgot to show up at the hotel. <laughs> just hanging out, talking to his ex-wife. It's just a Christmas party, that's it, guys. Uh, almost, almost at it. So, yeah. The cable rival car. cable car. The West Side Story of uh, Wolfenstein. Fierce competition. So he dropped a grenade. That's helpful for me. There go. Or he's been taking grenade throwing lessons from you and just throwing them at himself. Hey. <laughs> there that there was good. that questionable grenade toss early on, but I thought Matt could have just said, well, in case they came at me, I threw sort of a defensive grenade, if you will. But <laughs> <laughs> in truth, we know that's not what he was actually of doing. Of course. <laughs> go. Can we get them all? No. Hello. There's quite a few baddies on that guy. Yeah, you were, you know, we were talking before about stealth versus combat and opportunities to do that. You're, you're not stealthing your way out exactly. of this. Exactly. This is obviously one of those opportunities where uh, the Nazis have to die and uh, you're going to have to fight your way out. Yeah, if you duck down, they're not just going to go away. Here's another example of um, being able to use your pipe um, for, for uh, opportunities. Oh, okay. Melee. And I, I mean, I have to say, like, uh, you know, similar to the New Order, there's a, there, I, the game, there's looked to be some unforgiving parts. Like, we're not dealing with enemies that have terrible aim. They're gonna, they're gonna hit you. It seems like even if you are gonna be running gunning, you still have to like be it's, smart about it's, it. It's definitely uh, challenging, uh, for sure. Um, we can neither confirm nor deny that Matt is getting any additional uh, artificial help on this level. <laughs> from dying repeatedly. Um, we'll put it down to his unbelievable skill. In I'm skilled. Shooters. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a tough game. Look at that. Look at that. Come on. <laughs> it's definitely a game that is uh, challenging and certainly on the, uh, as with uh, the New Order, on the tougher difficulty. Right, yeah, absolutely. It, really, it can really be a challenge, particularly with when you're dealing with some of these big heavies like this guy here. They are, they are not easy to take down. Yeah, that was actually one of the things I really enjoyed. Um, about the new order, so that's what I'm looking forward to in the old block because I feel like it, it has that same that same feeling of, of challenge. Like there's not going to be much hand holding here. Yeah, and we don't we don't want it to be too uh, too one note where it's, where it's always the same. So the way that that challenge comes across and, and the, the different types of combat challenges you have to deal with will uh, will vary from time to time. That's probably not a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> Down. You may recognize those are uh, the fighters that you end up facing in the early part. Uh, right. BJ's assaulting uh, Death's Head's compound. Everybody's got drones. These oh, days. these damn things. I swear to God. The oh, number wow. of time those things managed to kill me in uh, the new order. Attack from a, uh, above, side, yeah, this is, and uh, drones. This is, this is a lot right here. This is uh, chaos. One, one drone down. Gotta shoot them in the leg. They're shooting right now. It's not very good though. It's like a old GI Joe cartoon. They're all going past me right now. They are a bit far. Accuracy length is not fantastic. Um, got them all. But that didn't go well. Uh -oh. Brutskis. 